What's up, guys? Chance here. Um, and, you know, normally I wouldn't, you know, come on here and do a hate video. And you guys know that. But there is something that I need to put out there that just really got under my skin. And that is... This Alexander Alistair guy, like, I've had him on my friends list for a while. Normally a really chill dude. But what this guy said just really set me off. And honestly, I feel like it needs to be dealt with. I mean, this motherfucker's got me pissed beyond words right now. And you guys already know the routine. And shout out to whoever's watching. Um, if you guys don't know, Alexander Alistair did send me a message earlier today, actually, that really pissed me off. As a matter of fact, if you guys look in the description, that is exactly what he had said to me. And speaking of the devil, there he is. Alexander, what you did to me, that was really fucked up, dude. You were sitting there saying that you know, people are going nuts over the song for no reason. Dude, you don't know my friends. You don't know my family. You're sitting there saying that, you know, they're only telling me what I want to hear. That's where you're wrong, dude. You're very wrong in that. I told them straight out, to be honest with me, and that's exactly what they've been doing. What's the matter, dude? can't handle the fucking truth, Alexander. You can't handle the honest truth. And that's what it is, dude. You can't fucking handle the fact that I'm defending myself and my friends and family. What you did is fucked up. You do not want to tangle with me, Alexander. You really don't, because you do not know what I can fucking do. I have a lot more connections than you fucking realize, boy. So you do not want to fuck with me. I am the last guy you want to fuck with. And for you to do that, dude, is bullshit. Seriously, for you to fucking say what you said to me is stupid. You don't know me. You don't know my friends. You don't know my family. So why don't you just do yourself a favor and fuck off, you little shithead. Seriously. And yeah, I did just say that. Because you don't fucking know me. I'm seriously sick and tired of all the hate from assholes like you. If you got a problem with me, delete me. Block me. Simple as that. If you don't like my music, don't fucking listen, dude. Seriously, if you don't like what I got to say, don't listen to what I have to say. If you don't like what the music I put out, so fucking what? Seriously, man. Hey, Charles, no offense to you, bro. I do apologize, but dude, this guy needs to be put in his fucking place. But seriously, Alexander, you need to fucking stop. You don't know me. You don't know my friends. You don't know my family. I've been doing this shit since 2010, and you don't know what the fuck I had to do to get this far. I had to work 10 times harder than anybody else. And the reason for that, because of my physical appearance. And because of the fact that, yes, I am special needs to a certain extent. So I had to work ten times harder than anybody else out there doing it. You don't know me. You don't know my music. You don't know what the fuck I go through on a daily basis. I deal with motherfuckers like you every fucking day. And honestly, for you to do that, man, what you said is beyond fucked up. Hey, Jacob, what's up, bro? 
If you don't know this guy, Alexander Alistair Odinson, you can look him up. He's actually in the comments. Uh, if you look at the description, that message is what he sent me. Then, if you don't like my music, dude, then don't fucking listen. Yeah, I get that you've listened to my music on several occasions, but dude, you don't know what the fuck I deal with on a daily basis, man. You really don't know what in the hell I deal with. I deal with a lot more than you even realize. And see, and that's the problem right there, dude. You think that people are just gassing me up. And that's the problem right there. That is your issue. You can never be wrong. And that's just it. You don't know my friends or my family, dude. You are full of fucking shit. Yeah, exactly. But for you, and I appreciate your honesty, but for the fact that you sat there, you literally are contradicting yourself. If you take a look at everybody else, they enjoy the music. And if you don't, you don't have to fucking listen, dude. You really don't. If you don't like my music, don't fucking listen to it, man. Simple as that. I'm not here to fucking... You know, do music for haters like you. I'm here to do it for those that enjoy it. And you want to know something, dude? All I ever asked anybody is to be honest with me. And that's all they've ever done. So don't you dare sit there and say that my friends and family are not being honest. Because that's where you're wrong, dude. Not a single one of them has ever lied to me. They are not gassing me up. You want a person who is full of shit, take a look at yourself, Alexander. Seriously, bro. What you're doing is fucked up. Like, seriously. You sit there and say, oh, they're just gassing you up, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you don't like the style of music I'm going for now, then you ain't got to listen, bro. Simple as that. Because there's plenty of other people out there that do enjoy my music. Just because you don't, that don't mean you got to sit there and bash me like you did in that message. So don't sit there and say, you can't do shit, Alexander. That's just it. You think you can. You think you can ruin my career. You can't do shit. Seriously, dude, you can't do shit to me, Alexander. You don't know me. You can't ruin my career. You can't do that. It's impossible for you to fucking touch me, dude. I am untouchable. I am the one guy that you cannot fuck with. I cannot be touched musically. So don't sit there thinking you can ruin my career. And, dude, and that's just it. That's where you're wrong, dude. There is a lot to ruin, but you can't fucking touch me. Didn't you know? Haven't you heard by now that I am the one that nobody can touch? I am the one person you cannot fuck with. Lyrically, musically, or career-wise, you cannot touch me, Alexander. You think you can ruin my career, but you can't. Because I'm better than you are. I am better in the sense that I don't sit there and go around and fucking bash on people like you do. Yeah, if somebody doesn't have that good of music, you know, I'll do what I can to help them out. See, unlike your fucking idiotic mainstream ass, I do this shit for the people who enjoy it. I do music to help people. I do it to help that one kid out that might be going through a lot. Unlike your ass... At least I have fucking sense. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Chad. And see, Chad gets it, man. He knows what I go through. He sees it. Unlike your ass, dude. Seriously. Unlike your ass, Alexander, at least I've got sense to keep going. 
I don't sit there and bash on people like you do. And for you to sit there and say that my friends and family are just gassing me up, seriously. And like Chad said, dude, you are just another fucking tool. That is all you are. You are a mainstream, hypocritical asshole that needs to be put in this fucking place. And I guarantee you one thing, I'm going to be that motherfucker to do it. And if you don't think I can, try me, motherfucker. I dare you. I will fucking blast your ass in a fucking heartbeat all over the web. And if you don't think I can do it, try me. Your ass will be fucking grass in a heartbeat. And if you don't think I can do it, watch me. You don't think I ain't got the balls to call your ass out? Try me. I fucking dare you to try to touch me, son. I dare you. I want you to test me. I want you to. And yes, you are, Alexander. You are a fucking hypocrite. You sit there and say, you know, your music's not that good and blah, blah, blah. But then you sit there and turn around and look at all the good comments, all the positivity that I've gotten from all these people. And you sit there and you rip on them like you fucking know them. You don't know shit. You really don't. Go ahead and do it then, bitch. Go ahead and try. Go ahead and motherfucking try. You cannot ruin my career. You cannot do shit to touch me. And you know what, guys? I'm going to answer this shit. And apparently his ass ain't fucking answering. Exactly, Chad. Thank you. Exactly my point, bro. Granted, yes, I'm good with several different styles like dubstep, metal, you know, stuff like that. But I figured why not push my fucking vocals in a new direction? And dude, I tried answering, but it ain't fucking coming up. Not my fault. Okay? So don't be fucking bitching at me saying I'm not answering. I tried answering. It's not coming up. Exactly, dude. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. See, that's the difference between me and you, Alexander. I had to work my ass off. To get a fraction of where I'm at. Nothing was given to me. Go ahead, dude. Do what you fucking want. It's not going to affect me, bro. Seriously. You think that it's going to affect me? It don't. Like, seriously, bro. You think that you can touch me? You can't touch the skills that I bring. Ask anybody out there, man. Anybody will tell you the same fucking shit. And see, the difference between me and you, Alexander, unlike you, I work my ass off every fucking day at what I do. I'm not a spoon-fed motherfucker like your ass. I didn't sh just have shit handed to me. I had to bust my ass every fucking day of the week, 24-7, 365. Dude, even when I'm sick as a fucking dog, I put shit out. I don't give a fuck if I'm sick in bed. I'm still working my ass off every motherfucking day. So I'll sit there and say that you fucking know me. Don't sit there and say that you know me, Alexander. 
What? Oh, yes. Damn. I did. So don't sit there and say that you know me, Alexander. Because you do not know me at all. Seriously, you don't know shit about me. You don't know the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the fucking tears that I put in every motherfucking day of my life. Seriously, I have busted my ass 24-7, 365 to do what I got to fucking do, brah. And that's your issue. You may not have had shit handed to you, but you fucking act like it, dude. Dude, quit trying to fucking call me when I'm doing this. It won't allow me to answer. So stop trying to fucking call me, bro. It won't fucking allow me to answer during a live stream. So fucking stop. But dude, what you don't fucking get is you think that you're better than me. You think that you can control my career. You can't do shit. You can't touch me, bro. Like, seriously, I've dealt with motherfuckers like you before. I've had a whole bunch of people sitting there telling me, oh, I can do this to your career. I can do that to your career. No, you can't. If you could end my career, I would have quit a long fucking time ago. Okay? I would have quit a long time ago. But no, I'm still here doing what I do best and throwing out music for those that love it. So if you can't handle what I have to say, the fact that I'm speaking the truth, unfriend me, block me. And if you don't like my music, fuck you. Have a nice day. You ain't got to fucking listen. I don't give a fuck what you got to say about me, Alexander. All I know is I'm tired of motherfuckers like you Constantly trying to think that, oh, you should do this style. You should do that style. Motherfucker, I do whatever style I feel like doing. That's why I'm called an artist. I create styles. I create new styles. I create stuff that's different and unique that people actually enjoy. And like Chad said, if you don't like my music, bro, you ain't got to listen. Simple as that. There's other artists and bands out there that you can listen to. I, am I claiming to be the best? No, I'm not. But what I am doing is defending not only my music, but my family and friends that you fucking bashed on. And if you don't think he didn't bash on them, huh, think again. And if you guys want to know what he said to me, it's right there in the description. You guys can go up there and read it. See, what you fail to realize, Alexander, is that my friends and family aren't blowing smoke up my ass like you seem to think. Every single person that I have talked to, and has asked, I had asked everybody to be honest. And if you look at the comments, dude, everybody likes what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, like I said, bro, you ain't got to fucking listen. Simple as that. Like, dude, you don't fucking understand, you know, how hard it is for you to end my career, dude. Like, you sit there and say that you're going to end my career. Well, go ahead and try. I guarantee you at the end of the day, you will fail. And that's just it. All you know how to do is try to end somebody's career. I don't think I haven't been paying attention to you musically, dude. Because I have. Even though I haven't said anything, I've been paying attention. And guess what? Here's a little clue for you, dude. Here's a bit of a dose of reality for your stupid ass. I cannot be touched. You cannot ruin my career. And that's just it. 
you can't ruin my career. Just because I look different, just because I do a different style that you might not enjoy, like, that doesn't give me the right to fucking bash. Like, seriously, there are people out there that are far worse looking than I am. But do you see me bashing on them? No. Do you see me bashing on those that are like me that do music? Hell no. A lot of the people that I know of that are like me and that I do know have great music. Like, just because I use auto-tune in a lot of my songs, so what? At least I'm not pulling a fucking Lil Wayne and fucking overdoing it. Like, I'm not trying to make myself sound like a robot. The way I used it, I made it work. Ask anybody. I made that shit work. Like, seriously, dude. If you do not like my music, do not listen. There are other bands, there are other artists, there are other people you can listen to. But here's a little reality check for your ass, dude. The people that you seem to think are gassing me up aren't. They're not gassing me up. You're just getting pissed off. Because of the fact that they actually enjoy that song. So you felt like you had to come on and hate. And as I said, I'm not hating on whether you like the song or didn't like the song. That's no big deal. I'm used to that. I'm used to people liking and not liking my stuff. So what? But what really pissed me off was the fact that you had the balls to sit there and send me that message. Saying that all my friends and family are gassing me up when they're not. You're full of shit, dude. And as I said, if you got a problem with me, then you know what? Fuck you. And if you think I'm just some internet keyboard warrior type dude, think again, motherfucker. I've dealt with guys like you before, and every single one of them failed to shut my career down. So if you want to try to shut my career down, Bring it. Because I'm not going anywhere. I am the one guy that you will fail to shut down. And I'll let it be known what you're doing. So for all you out there that are reading this or seeing this. And you guys read the message that he sent me. Share it around and let him know what he's doing. Because this motherfucker wants his two seconds of fame. Well guess what? He's getting it. And it ain't in a good way either, dude. I will make sure that your shit is put to a stop. I will make sure that you can't do shit. Hey, Dan, hold on, brother. I will call you in just a minute as soon as this live stream is done, brother. I will call you. So, you know, you want to sit there and run your fucking little mouth like a little bitch? Go ahead. It ain't going to phase me, bro. That's just it. You can take a look at my name. I'm all over the fucking web, bro. Whether it's from my older stuff from back when I used my very first name, Shadowblade. Hey. Huh. You realize they ain't no birthday? Yeah. Okay. Dale didn't. But, like, you can take a look at my name all over the web. I'm on the web, dude. I've set my name in stone. Alright? Yeah, I might not have that big of a fan base, but at least I still got something. I got something worth fighting for. I don't do this shit to entertain you. I do this shit for the fans. I do this shit for the people who enjoy my music. I do it for that kid that doesn't have anything. I do it for that kid that wants to end his life from being bullied. I do it for the kids that have problems, that have nothing else to turn to. I am a voice for those that don't have one. And if you can't handle that, oh fucking well. Because I guarantee you at the end of the day, I'm still going to be doing my music, and I guarantee you, I will be making it. 
Because as I said before, 2018 will be my year. And I'm not going to let some little punk-ass wannabe fucking hater like you stop me. So like I said, dude, you want to try to end my career? Bring a bitch. Ain't going to work. Because you can't fucking touch me. You can't touch anything I do. So let it be known to you and your friends that you want to sit there and run your mouth to me about. If you, there are any of them, including you, are thinking about ending my career, don't even bother. Because it ain't going to work. It ain't going to phase me. And you sure as fuck can't touch anything I do. Because I am ten times the man that you will ever be. I am ten times the person you will ever be. So don't sit there and say that you can end my career. And honestly, dude, it's honestly laughable. It really is. You really think that you can end my career. Take a long look at the long-ass list of motherfuckers that I've tried in the past and failed. See, it's not the fans that's the problem. It's not the fact that my music's not getting out there that much that that's the problem. It's your ass. It's people like you who sit there and claim, oh, he's not that good. He doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve that. Well, I'm here to tell you that's where you're wrong. Because, see, unlike the mainstream, I don't expect to, you know, be rich. I don't expect to have all the fucking money in the world. Do I expect to get, you know, a little bit of pay here and there? Of course. Just like any other artist would. I don't expect to be rich. I expect to be able to make enough to get by, to make a living off of what I love to do and what I do best. Do I have my gaming channel for YouTube? Yes. Do I have, you know, my online clothing line shop for custom clothing wear? Yes. But those are just side things. My main career, my career that I want to focus on, which I have been doing a lot of, is this. So don't sit there and think that you can fuck with me, dude, because it ain't going to happen. Dude, Lex Lethal's a fucking punk-ass bitch, and everybody knows it. I've heard the dude shit. He ain't got shit on me. He can't fucking end me. He can't even fucking come close to touching me, dude. And he's right, dude. Chad is right. I don't sit there and have people make my shit for me. I do everything on my own. I do all my own instrumentals. I build my own tracks. I record my own shit. I promote my own stuff. I put my own stuff out. And I also do my own cover art. So don't sit there and say, I don't do shit. I do 10 times the work you can ever do. I put in 10 times the work that you could ever do in a single fucking day. Okay? Chad's right, dude. I put more work into my shit than you could even possibly think of imagining. I am that motherfucker that will tear down an entire song and rebuild it over and over and over until I feel it's correct. Okay? I am that guy that that will literally sit there and record until I'm fucking blue in the face until I get it right. That's how I am. I'm not some fucking cheap ass cookie cutter wannabe like you, Alexander. And if you think I am, you better think again. Because guess what? You're done for, Alexander. And if you think I'm a cookie cutter motherfucker that's just going to stand by like another one of your little bitches and going to take your shit, you're wrong. I'm not going to take your shit. Hell, as a matter of fact, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to fire back with everything I fucking got. I'm going to stand here. I'm going to defend myself. 
I'm going to defend my friends. I'm going to defend my family. Because every motherfucker that's watching this right now that knows my music and enjoys what I do, a lot of them aren't just friends. A lot of them are family. Whether they're military-based family, whether they're, you know, friends that I've known over many a years. Like Chad here, you know, he's military-based like myself. And, you know, and I know a lot of people within the military as well as various other artists who are family. You know, I've got a family of every background, whether it's music, whether it's military, whether they're special needs, not special needs. You know, I have a lot more people who enjoy my work than you could ever hope of dreaming to have. And dude, even if you do put a diss track out on me, which I'm hoping you do, I want to see what your little bitch ass has to say. And don't get one of your little bitch friends to do it for you, no. I want to hear what you got, Alexander. I want to hear what you fucking got. Because I guarantee you, anything you got on me, anything you can say to me, it won't faze me. But I guarantee you, whatever you got to say to me, I guarantee you, I'll send it back at you tenfold. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> try me. See, the reason why I am untouchable. Huh, let me count the ways. Oh, yeah, reason one. Because I'm like you, I don't follow by society. I don't sit there and have shit handed to me. I don't sit there and do it just for the money. I do it to help people. And honestly, dude, lyrically, you couldn't even begin to touch me. Because I've been through more fucking shit than anybody should ever have to go through. I've been to jail. I've lost friends. I've lost family. I've had my older brother murdered. Well, not really older brother, but he was taller than me. But that's besides the point. I've had my brother murdered two years ago. I lost my older brother to cancer a couple years ago. Okay, I've lost family. I've lost friends. Hell, I'm not even supposed to be here on this earth. I was supposed to die the day I was born. Okay? I wasn't supposed to live past birth. But yet, here I am, 27 years later. So don't sit there and tell me that I don't have what it takes. Okay? I've been through a lot more shit than you could ever hope of realizing. And I don't sit there and say, oh, pity me, oh, woe is me. No. I use my experiences to make my music. I use my experiences to write, so to write songs to help people. So don't sit there and say that you can end my career and touch my career because you can't touch what I do. You can't touch the people that, you know, I've helped. And if you don't think I haven't helped anybody, fucking try me. Ask anybody that knows my music. That knows what I talk about. Because, dude, I've not only been through all of that. I've been through very mentally abusive relationships. You know, many times in the past. So don't sit there and act like you know what I've been through when you don't know shit. You don't know why I fight so hard. Because unlike you, I fight for my career every single fucking day. Yeah, I might not put out songs every fucking day. But that doesn't mean that I don't do shit musically. Because let's let me give you a dose of reality. Let me show you something here, first off. All I have right now is this. This pair of headphones and this mic. That's all I got. And my skills with mixing and mastering and doing what I do best. That's all I got. That's my home studio. I don't have a professional studio like what you and your guys might have. Okay? I started out with a crappy microphone. 
Okay. That's all I started out with. Just a crappy mic and a set of headphones. But look at what I did with that stuff. Okay. Look at the fans and the friends that I've made over the years because of those two things. Look at the people that enjoy my stuff. So if you guys want to sit there and believe this lunatic asshole about what he's telling you, go right ahead. But before you do, take a look at everything I've done over the years. You can look me up. I am on Google. Like You can literally Google my name and all my stuff comes up. So before you go believe in this whack out, crazy ass motherfucker who does nothing but hate on people, look my name up. I'm all over the fucking web. You can look me up under the original Shadow Blade, which is Shadow B L A D E, or Shadow B L A Y D E. Or you can look up my name, just my regular name. Take a look, dude. Get the facts. I've got fans. I've got friends that enjoy my stuff. And it's for them that I do this shit. Not for punk ass little bitches like you. So don't think that you can touch me, dude. Yeah, I might not get that far musically because of, you know, certain issues. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to stop trying. I'm going to keep going until I'm dead in the fucking ground, dude. And what you failed to realize is that, yeah, I would like to be signed to a label. I really would. But I'm not sweating over it. Because I know my time will come, and when that time comes, I'm going to sit right here laughing at your fucking ass right in the face and telling you you were wrong. So don't think that you can touch me, dude. Because you can't touch shit. And don't think that you can put me in my place because it ain't going to happen. The person that needs to be put in their place is you. See, you fail to realize reality. And the reality of things is, I can't be touched. Lyrically, musically, or internet-wise. Or that's to some extent physically. I am untouchable. I am the one that nobody can touch. Because I am for real. I am open. I am honest through my music. And see, unlike you, I have real honest friends. I have real honest family. I don't know who the fuck brought you up into the music scene, bro. But whoever taught you the ways that you're running now, honestly, is fucked up in the head. Just straight up. And I understand that it might not be your fault that you are the way you are. And I'm not blaming you for that. But honestly, whoever made you that way, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry for whoever made you that way. But dude, you need to get a fucking reality check and realize that people like me do deserve a shot at getting signed. I don't. I'm out. Peace.